worship them. Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you are king of kings. We thank you, Lord, because you are Lord of Lord. We thank you, Lord, because of your mercy. We thank you, Lord, because of your Father God, this night, O Lord, thank you for your sustaining ability and power, worshiping the Lord, was he glorifying the Lord, was he adoring the Lord, was he exalting his name, was he magnifying him for whom he is, was he lifting him up for his majestic power and glory, was he exalting his holy name for by his doom. Let's honor him. Let's worship him. Let's praise him. Let's elevate him. Let's thank him for all. Let's thank him for his Let's thank him for his Thank you, Father, for the way you have been us in our journey to heaven. Thank you for your good hand upon each and every one of us. Every day by day and every time, Lord, we bless you. Lord, we are grateful unto you because of your power. Your unfailing power in our soul, your unfailing power in our lives, your unfailing power in our family. Thank you once again because of the way you have been helping us. But thank you, Father, for all that you are releasing and you are opening our eyes of understanding to behold, even as we go through the word of God. Father, we honor you. Amen. I want to thank the Lord and know him for calling us into his household and for making us minister. The Bible says that yes, we are calling for this. How the mighty are not called and how the, the wise are not called. God has chosen the foolish things of this life to confirm things that are mighty. And the weak things that the Lord chosen to confound things that are so, so that no flesh will glory in his presence. We want to thank God for our selection. You know, in the book of Luke, the disciples uh, you know, were rejoicing that the devil was subject to them. Uh, and eventually, the Lord Jesus told them, that they shouldn't rejoice because of those powers of darkness that uh, came under their subjection or become subjected to them, but rather they should rejoice because their names were written in the book of life. And after that, the Lord Jesus immediately began to thank God uh, who had eaten this thing or who had eaten these things from the prudent, from the wise, from the big men and had revealed them unto this. And no wonder Jesus further told his disciple in Matthew that unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but those out there is not given to them. Want to thank God the things we know and the things that are revealed to us. If you had the workers meeting yesterday, uh, you know the level of revelation that were being revealed. And it's a great privilege to live in this era. It's a great privilege to be exposed to all of these mysteries of the kingdom and to know all of these things. Let's open our mouth and give thanks unto God. God, Father God, in the name of Jesus, righteous God, our God and our Father, we thank you. Thank you, Father God, for this deeper revelation of your watch that you are, you are granting unto us every day and every time. Lord, you are not tired of blessing our lives. You are not tired of dishing out your word unto us. You are not tired of taking us deeper in the word of God. No, Lord, me. everlasting Father, God will bless you. Because your word says, it says, grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we thank you because every day by day, you are helping us to grow in that grace, to grow in knowledge, to grow in wisdom, to grow in understanding, to grow in the word of God. Father, we bless your name, O oh God. Lord, we appreciate you tonight. O oh God of heaven, that to accept all our praises, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the instruments of your servants you have been using. 
our Father in the Lord, Pastor W.S. Kumui, and all our other pastors, oh God, all our state of us here, all our region of us here, all his listeners on every side, all the national of us here, all our missionaries scattered in various countries of the world. Oh God, everlasting Father, we bless you. Lord, we we'll thank you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we we'll honor you, God. We appreciate you, Amen. Father. Amen. Amen. At this time, we want to go before the Lord and properly examine ourselves because we really need to pray tonight. Before I came to, um, just a few minutes before the prayer, um, I wasn't really happy. I, I felt unhappy. And that's why I'm talking uh, silently, quietly like this. I should have been a little bit louder. And I wasn't really happy because of... Um, an issue at home here, and I felt so bad. And I felt unhappy anyway, so I think I had to, had to, talk, to talk to my, you know, talk about and all of that. And so I was, because of my own happiness and all of that, I know that what I say to, to make sure that it has to be led. I want us to pray, and, and I want us to realize ourselves. There is it that is going to stand in as a barrier to our prayer tonight. Whatever anything that we have to pray, we have to pray. Father, on the holy throne of mercy. Lord, our Father, we are here this night with you. Whatever the enemy is doing. Righteous God, a most God, a balancing that will not make us move forward. Father, we pray that God. the next move will overshadow them and transform them, O Lord, in Jesus. Come to the throne of God, to the throne of your mercy, O God. I ask unto you, all to the heat of the mercy of God. Lord, that every barrier, everything I want to stand as a barrier, O Lord, we are right, O Lord, O Lord, O Lord, O Lord. And let your mercy speak oh, for us, O oh oh Lord, Lord, in Jesus' let name. Lord of so Jesus Christ, the enemy is doing to pull us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are the Lord of Amen. Amen. Tonight, Amen. we are going to present a lot of issues. One, we are beginning with prayer requests tonight. We shall begin with prayer requests, and then before we fire other things, prayer request number one. We want to pray. The Bible says the husband man that laboreth will be partakers of the food. At this time, we want to present God's servants into the hands of God, Pastor Shegun. I want to read the prayer exactly the way it's presented so that we can pray it like that. I have seen that God answers prayer. I, I have personally, uh, just recently, I can, I, can, I can tell. I can tell I, a prayer like prayed, and then seeing the finger of God. You know when you see some kind of instant prayer, you uh, answer to prayer rather, you know that God is actually living in the heaven, and he answers prayer. Look at it here. Uh, Brother, please pray for me that God will open my eyes to opportunities, job in the that will take me to the next level like Aga. Now, this is the prayer. Number two, also connect me to people that matter more, just like Joseph in prison. This is a very powerful prayer point. Want to pray that as the servant of God has requested and desired. The Bible says in Psalm 37, verse 3, uh, let me go to, let me take it in four. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. May Psalm 37, verse 4 be fulfilled in the life of Pastor Shagun in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 4. 
become a reality in your life, sir, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Amen. Father, we lift up your servant with your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, which you said, we deserve us to be met. We pray that we open the eyes of your servant to opportunity, job opportunities that we take in to the next level in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, go and know and pray that whatsoever the enemy is doing to the and the Sabbath, making to break even further with prayer. At this night, oh Lord, you will destroy them. You will set the Sabbath free. You will connect him to those connections that will be taken to the next level, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you arise on behalf of the servant. O Lord, go the moon and rise on behalf of the servant. Take him to me, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor Shagun, take it from us tonight. Take it from us. This is not to just make you happy. Take it from us. Pastor Peter had prayed. Pastor Joe at pray, Pastor Matthew at pray, these are God's servants, these are men of God. I have also, uh, of course, as I've also led Pastor Benjamin from USA as prayed, and we have all prayed. And I'm sure maybe there are some that are connected somewhere else. Take it that as we have spoken it, even this very night, nice, so it shall be. And you will testify to the glory of the Lord. Of the nomenclature (laughs) or listically in Jesus' name. In the name of I want to pray now, very quickly, another prayer request. The prayer request for taking to God in prayer is that, brother, please pray uh, against illness and sickness in my life. Also and add bond and all of that. This person had, if I even asking for actually full recovery, it's also asking for blessing of fruitfulness to be made manifest in my daughter's life. So there are many things here. Number one, that sickness will vamos and disappear. Also add bond, all of those things will disappear from the life of this person. And not only that, the barrenness in the life of the daughters, may the Lord God yank it off and show mercy on that family. Shall we pray? Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, I request before you, God. My God and my Father, God, every sickness, every ailment of all that, oh God, in the name of Jesus. The Bible uh, says that the name of Jesus, every name bow. O Lord, will speak to that offer and all the other born. Lord, let everything burn it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, I pray for us, O God. That God and will grant us food for recovery, O oh God. By your mighty spirit and power in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh Lord, I pray for the blessing of fruitfulness. Oh God, to be made manifest in the daughters, in our daughters' their lives, yes. oh God. Lord, I pray God bring it to France, so King of glory. Even this night, in the name of Jesus Christ, you said that once ever to we ask in your name, you will surely do it, oh God. Lord, Lord bring, God. bring it to France, oh Father. Amen. They very quickly pray for me. I just did the virtual interview with a conglomerate construction company. And here the person said that uh, they called that will, uh, they call that I should expect their response in two weeks' time. I want to pray, this person has done an interview with is asking that we pray, or asking the Lord that God will favor him. God Amen. will favor him. God Amen. will favor him. God will Amen. favor him. Oh, God favor this individual. Like we in God, in time it will be called, and you will be favored of the Lord. Shall we pray? Mighty God favor him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
Oh, righteous God, immortal God, everlasting Father, Lord, I come to you, God. Lord, for this writer, oh God, who has uh, gone for an interview, and God, they said they should be expecting from him in the next two weeks, oh God. Lord, please grant unto this individual special or common favor in the sight of the interviewers, in the sight of the, of, the, of, the, of the management of that company, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, I pray my Father God that you begin to lay it upon the arms of the owner of the company or the people there, the management there. Lord, they'll begin to think about him, oh God. They'll give him a special call, oh God, to come this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Yes. Uh, before we venture into the nation, the state of the nation, and the global crusade, we want to all travel now in the spirit and travel to Charlotte, and we are asking God for Charlotte and all our brethren that are based in the USA, that the hand of God shall rest mightily upon them. Let's understand that the leader of this platform based over there, and God has been using him, want to ask the Lord, his hands will not be weary. His no. hands will not be weary. He will be no. stronger than any day and night. Oh, I, there was a time we prayed a prayer. You remember? That enemy shall not exert upon him. The sons of the wicked shall not afflict him. With that prayer yes, is there for preaching. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, yes, everlasting God. Father, we look unto you, King of glory. It will be so God and he said, in my Father, God. Father, we pray, O oh God, Lord, in the past. Right. Such a talented prosper. Online ministry will prosper. God, all the our channel ministry, all the of God, God in the part like Bible John Channel Tito. Including our pray? beloved Pastor, Pastor Matthew, O oh God, and all his allies. God, I am asking my Father God, let your hand of power, let your hand of mercy, o God, rest upon every one of them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, Holy Father, please prosper the work in that, in that place, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let there be a divine intervention, O oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking, O oh God, that to assist and help your servants. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all the encumbrances, all the obstacles, O oh God, you will help me to overcome all those challenges. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I want to pray for Akewomi, particularly, and we can extend that to the sister. Uh, such a child that is so dedicated to spiritual matter. Yes, we can place him in the hand of God. That God will continually be his defense. A wall of fire will surround Akewomi and the sister. A wall of fire. They will remain the apple of God's eyes. They will be untouchable, impenetrable for Satan, impenetrable for the powers of darkness, impenetrable for evil ones. Oh God, make them impenetrable. Set the fire like They will prosper. They will make it. They will be the head the skull and not the tail. The God of heaven will help them to continually follow him. They will not be they will not be influenced negatively. No sons of Delia will influence them. There are a lot of sons of Delia in USA. There are a lot of sons of Delia in America. There are a lot of daughters of Jezebel Day. There are those who are working directly for Satan, who are begging the Lord and praying that the Lord will help them. Help both of them. They will become they remain focused. They will fear the Lord all the days of their life. The hand of God shall be mighty upon them, shall we pray. Father in heaven, for me, Lord, into your hand, we pray that your hand will be upon him. 
and upon his sister, in the name of Jesus. O Lord God, now we lift up the children of the foyer. We pray that by this in the United States, we will not have any impact in their lives, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus, precious name, we are faith. Amen. 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 We are using the same thing, and uh, I one of one of the schools I normally visit uh, for what we call uh, assembly preaching. In one of the days, I had to speak on how they need to be aware of pedophiles and child molesters. How do you identify pedophiles? There are a lot of pedophiles around, a lot, who defy, they derive pleasure in defiling young people. They derive pleasure in messing young people up. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are rapists. They are pedophiles. They have sexual desire towards young people, children, want to pray, God will shield our children. God Amen. will preserve our children. Amen. God will protect our children from molesters, from okay. sexuality, from pedophiles. You for men and women, Father, pray, oh, whether you are in Syria or not, talk to God. Our daughters, our sons, the Lord shall sustain your child, sustain your children, your children, your children, your children. Around us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, send me a word that our children will be blessed. Churches in Nigeria, the spiritual atmosphere of Nigeria, we need the mercy of God, we need the help of God. We want to ask God to show mercy on the church leadership in Nigeria. I mean, leadership, I don't mean just a particular pastor, I mean the leadership, whether kind of PFM or whatever evangelical, the Lord should show mercy. You know, if there is a sin in the land, uh, you know how Achan became a barrier to God's people? It failed. It's just like we are, we are pastors and leaders on this platform. And our lives are like channels through which the life of the people on the platform are being blessed. And paraventure, and one is become an hypocrite or hypocritical in dealings and all of that, one can constitute nuisance and become a barrier to the flow of what God will want to do. That's why it's important that we have genuine people of God, genuine men of God, genuine pastors and genuine leaders. One should pray right now that God will have mercy 
You know what God said? That in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, if my people, they are still my people, but peradventure they have gone astray. Peradventure their pursuit is now money. Peradventure their pursuit is now position. Like Pharisees who were pursuing followership and you know, for, uh, you know, prestige and position, and thereby kicking against and antagonizing Christ because they knew that their prestige would be taken away. I want to pray that God will have mercy on the church in Nigeria. A lot of things have been. And that's why soldiers are entering the land. A lot of things are happening. There is a sin in the land. There is a sin, though. There is serious sin on the altar. You find people climbing the altar with iniquity, with unrighteousness. No wonder. Strangers coming, wanting to invade the land, want to beg the Lord for mercy. Oh God, mercy. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves, how many founders there are that are already collecting bribes? How many founders there are? They are already being manipulated. How many founders there are already defied? They defy members of the church and here and there. How many founders there are? Giants in the faith who had already fallen and become the shadow of themselves. And the altar of God has become polluted, become dirty, become immoral, become unclean, and become unrighteous. Let's beg the Lord. With all the various things that we hear and we see, Oh, so so pastor has done this and done that. Let's ask the Lord for mercy. We are not pointing and accusing fingers, but we are begging the Lord to show us mercy as a nation. The mercy of the Lord shall speak for us, shall we pray? Father, we come before your throne of mercy. We lift up our nation, Nigeria, Lord, into your hands. You said the word that in the peace of this land, we also we have peace. Lord, look at what we are into. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will rise. O oh Lord, rise, O oh Lord, in heaven. Rise, O oh Lord, in your throne. And settle the case of Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, when our father Abraham prayed for, the, for his, in his own time, you said if you find 50 righteous men, you will spare the land. O oh Lord God, in heaven we can say, in this country, Nigeria, today we can find at least 500 righteous people. Father, we pray that you have mercy on this land. O oh Lord, have mercy on this land. Father, have mercy on this land. Father, this land will be destroyed by evil men, by people Amen. that have to take power by all oh means. O oh Lord, have praying. mercy, Lord. Amen. 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 Now, we want to pray. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't take straight for a place, for a job. Uh, sometimes you hear some people, please let's say uh, we are online and uh, yeah, there's a limit to what we can say because these things travel far. Yeah. And uh, you know, sometimes you hear some people, they say, yeah, Nigeria can never be Islamized. We are men of God. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if we don't pray, you see, if we think, okay, yeah, we are men of God in the land, we have here, everybody put hands, they know God will not allow, I, I know now, God will go for me, hey, hey, it's not done that way, it's not done that way. We don't say threat for a joke. We don't say, I bet we cannot do anything. And someone is threatening that we want to do this. No, you don't take it for a right, you don't take it for a joke. And that's why, aside the time we are spending here, which is not even anymore, on our own, we are believing God that the Philistines will not take over Nigeria. We are believing Amen. God that Amen. the Leah will not take over the land. We, are Amen. Not, we cannot carry guns. I told one of our pastors this evening uh, while we were chatting. And we, can I carry guns? Uh, even, even, come on to even caution and correct somebody. I'm already feeling guilty. I'm unhappy. Just the way I was unhappy this evening and all that. No, we talk mm-hmm. on go. How do I shoot? How do I how do I kill? I cannot I cannot carry go. I cannot do it. But there is something I can do that can dismantle the strangers of the land, that can destroy yeah. the strangers of the leader, that can waste the, the, the those people. 
And that's why. And they are already invading the land. In different places, just this evening, I saw that they, 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 they attack a church. Uh, if we are to go by what I saw on social media, uh, maybe it's today, I don't know. And, uh, you know, attack a church and kill. I think, it, has it becoming a normal thing now? You just get to church, kill people. You just get to church, destroy people. You just get to church, waste people and cause them fear. And now people are afraid to go to the house of God. What exactly is their motive? We want to ask God now that the God that has not, you know, created the heaven and the earth in Nigeria shall perish. That's the prayer point. The God that has not created the heaven and the earth, they, that they believe in, they believe in a particular God, that God will perish. In Nigeria, we pray for it. That God will perish. Amen. In that name, that we pray. Father, we lift up the church into your hands. Lord, they are stretched there and there against the church. And we have recorded killing over 40 people in the church in the war. And Lord, we are hearing about another species of killing on those things. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you arise for your church. Father, we pray that you arise for your church. Like myself, your servant has said, we cannot carry guns. It is true, O oh Lord, but we have weapons that are greater than guns. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will arise for your church. Oh Lord, these people that have got themselves together to send their words together, not by you. And they shall get up without you, they shall be scattered. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you use your power to scatter them, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, use your power to scatter them, O oh Lord. Use your power to scatter them, O oh Lord. Cause oh confusion among them. When you train up, make them together. So they want to build this tower. They will take them to you. Cause confusion and scatter. O oh Lord, the people that are building an empire in Nigeria today want to in my life and for that start their plan and their program, O Lord, in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Do you know that most of the will you permit me to use this language? Most of the so called Christians we have in Nigeria. If should anything happen, like war or riot or whatever, and they ask them to deny Christ, they will look back, oh, sharp, sharp, not even with guns, ordinarily with knives. Because many of the people that we call so-called Christians and all of them, they are not properly disciples. They just, mm. just know that on Sunday, carry Bible, and then they just know that, okay, God is just the belly of the past. So who is leading them and all that, just uh, prosperity here and there, they, can, they, they do this, they do all the jingoism and gymnastics and sweats and all of that. But they are not true there. They know nothing about holding firm in cause of persecution and trial. They know nothing about that. There is no proper this. How many churches really, really take time to do what we call God discipleship? How many people know what we call real discipleship? Should anything happen, you will be shocked that your next neighbor that you say is going to go to go, go, go church, maybe the next person to carry gun and shoot. You will be shocked. And, and so that's why we are begging the Lord. There are few who are still standing. There are few who are genuine. There are few who are holding up the nation's sleep of God who are going to ask God. That the agenda, I want to be specific now, of Islam and Fulani in Nigeria will perish. That's Amen. the prayer. Amen. 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 The agenda of Fulani, the agenda of Islam will perish in Nigeria. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we come before your throne of mercy. We bring this nation before you once again. Father, we pray that the agenda of the Poland, the agenda of those that want to Islam, that this nation, let it perish, O oh Lord, with the planners, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord. The great thing that he did when the servants of God went to them and told them these things are not work, and they rose up. He called the meeting, and in that meeting, the men that rose up against it, the priest carried them on the floor and gone back and walk. Oh Lord, the priest has to be all the way to the priest. So that the Nigeria, oh Lord. 
Amen. Pastors, 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 this is pastor's prayer. Pastors, are we angry with some issue? Is it not an insult? It's just like, um, I mean, I, I, I just moved to a new apartment, which Pastor Peter is aware of. Can you imagine somebody like a believer now moving to a particular apartment, and then they're not in that, apart- in that uh, area that they, they, there's one wish, there's one abali there, and so, uh, and then maybe you not get to know as a pastor, as, as you, I know you say, uh, I want to come on, go look for another uh, somewhere. Actually, it's a blessing. It's, a it's an insult. It's a big insult, though. In fact, the church you are not going where you are coming for is to fortify you and say, hey, Boba Jebe, I'm a Ijani. You wake up in the night and fire prayer to heaven. I control this territory. You cannot control this territory. I control this territory. The kind of believers we have today, they are told that, you know what they call Ajebota, Ajebota children. I know. That kind of Ajebota, no, I, I heard, I have not read it. I don't know whether it's part of what Pastor Shego said to me. What they say, whether they are giving us three months, uh, three months, I don't know. I don't know who understands. Whether three months church, I mean three months that we should call something church. Uh, please, now somebody put it to for us so that uh, whether three months, uh, so three months what uh, that we should close church, I mean close babies, close Hello, sir. They yes. sent letter. They sent letter, and they said that for three months, all the Christians should not go to church. Mm. So the CP now read the letter and called all the pastor pledges to have a meeting with them. Okay. Okay. Is it that video? That police video? Something? Yes. yes. Okay. Can you imagine such an insult? I see that as an insult. You know, we can pray a prayer where an invisible hand will just go and be slapping those people. They won't see the hand. They will just see their hand be slapped. They, they let the hand will become swollen. I think it, it's an insult. It's the biggest one to pray right now. There's a prayer you pray with only anger. There's another kind of prayer. You know, you know, you know when Moses became so angry, we know that we are not to go in that direction. So what has never happened should happen to Korah, Jetan, and Abira. They didn't even go to this extent. And they were just arrogant, disobedient, and rebellious, and rebels, and all of that. But this one, they are even going beyond their boundary. <laughs> can you, can you... What are they backing up? We are going to pray their backbone tonight, tonight. The backbone of these people behind terrorism, Islam, and Fulani, or killing, s men Boko Haram. Tonight, 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 God will have and destroy their backbone in the name of Jesus, the Bible says. Say to the daughters that sit upon the throne, the daughters of Babylon, thou shalt sit upon the dust. If they are in trouble, God will bring them down, they will sit upon the dust. If they are in Asoho, God shall demote them and destroy them. Are you praying with anger? Only anger. If they are anywhere, God shall demote them. Heaven shall demoralize them. God shall demote them. Anywhere. They are using the resources of the nation to fight the nation. God shall disgrace them. Father, we bring this nation once again before you. Lord, we pray that all those people that are using the power that you have allowed them to acquire to disturb the peace of the land, to disturb the working of your gospel. Father, we pray that you will arise, O oh Lord, and destroy every one of them. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, we lift up our eyes unto you. We pray, O oh Lord, that you arise for your church. Arise for your church. Arise for your church. In the name of Jesus. 
destroy the plan of the wicked. Destroy the plan name of Jesus. They will be demoted and destroyed. Destroy the plan of the wicked. In this land, O oh Lord. Son of sin cannot pray with God. Amen. Do not the time is not there. The time is not there to really pray. But we are trusting God to so much day. We are trusting God to intervene. On our own, we'll be praying. On our own, we'll be begging God. We will see it. We will see the end of these people. We will see the end. They won't see our end. We shall see the end. They are Amen. Nigeria will never materialize. It will not suffice. As they are about carrying out, God will disgrace them and demote them and disown them. So that it be. They are Amen. Whatever we thought they are seeking to sponsor their own reading, God shall expose them with their resources. God shall disgrace them with their resources. Amen. Now we pray for the global crusade, and uh, the GS is going to. Lorry, and they were told that the name of that some guys, Ian Coin, bed is singing, wants to say and tell the Lord concerning the state, you know, quite a state. I think you have a lot of Muslim there, of maybe the Fulanese are there too, and all that. Yes. And they want to say that there will be a potential anointing upon the GS to match the terrain. You understand what I mean now? Uh, you understand the terrain. There's a commercial anointing that can match a thing. Uh, hey. So if there are atheists there, if there are Islam people there, they will submit the lordship of Christ, having seen the power of God moving in action. Shall we talk to God in prayer? Father, we commit the program in Quara this month, Lord, into your hand. We pray that your mighty power will rest upon your servant. Your anointing will dwell richly upon your servant. Oh, Lord God in heaven, that even the name of the uh, location says bed singing. Father, we pray no matter what bed was singing there before, as the servant come across that place, silent that bed, that you silent that python in the solo Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, you are seeing the business of doing miracles. We call on Pastor Matthew. We round up here and we're going to pray that each of us here, God will eat with all, and God is saving in us and the healing the the, the, the sick and delivering the oppressed, restoring the backslider. We ourselves, God, we touch us and go into this Thursday and telling you the money to that we over to the Praise the Lord. Praise uh, the Lord. That uh, Pastor Matthew. Uh, yes, sir. Hello, sir. Pastor Matthew, before you come up, I want to just encourage the brethren uh, by the prayer we have prayed this night. And I want to share a testimony of what happened during uh, President Babangida, we see very much alive. I was in Aochi one uh, some years ago, and the group pastor there was sharing a testimony that uh, uh, one of our top leaders in the church, uh, during Babangida time, got a wind that uh, they were planning to Islamize the nation, and God sent him to Babangida. And he went to him and delivered the message. Uh, Bagda said, uh, according to him, a group pastor shared this testimony in the Palai Bible Church, out here in Edo, one of the regions in Edo State, that's where I come from. He said uh, he went to Bagda after delivering the message. He said, actually, it's true, that's their plan, but he's going to put up a, a group of people that we want them to listen to the message 
that God has sent to them. So he called on the emirs in the north, top, top Muslim leaders in the north, and brought them to a very big conference house in Asurok. I said, while well, they were in the conference house, in the conference room, Florida now beckoned on the uh, deeper life, one of the leaders to share the message with the group. He said, after sharing the message, that God said it's not try, that some of the emirs stood up in anger and rebuked him. What He said, right inside the hall, breath came inside and echoed. You know the presentation uh, conference hall. It's not a hall that you can have some leakages. You can have uh, maybe where wings can enter. But he said wings enter the hall and pick those emirs and go from them on the wall, right behind all of them. No matter how far the wall was from them, the priest took them from the ground, picked them up and gummed them on those walls. They were there struggling, begging that uh, they won't do it again, that God should forgive them, that they should please. The man of God should pray. Let them be released. So after a while, said, the pastor prayed, and suddenly the priest stopped, and they all fell down, and all of them ran. All, all their turbans, everything was off their head. They all ran out well, of the hall, and that was the end of that uh, uh, plan at that time. Why I'm sharing this testimony is because of what we are going through now in the nation. We are seeing a lot of messages, a lot of threats against the church. We are seeing practical actions against the church, not just ordinary threats now. We are seeing the people that were killed in, uh, uh, on the uh, war were just buried this last week. We are, we will add maybe today, I don't know, I've not confirmed that, but, but since people were also killed in other church. Goodbye.